the third part of our sculpting tutorial, we are going to cover the process of baking this high resolution detail into a normal map to be applied as a texture on our low resolution mesh. So for this you need to know UV mapping. So if you haven't seen the UV mapping uh, chapter yet, it's just it is the first video in the texturing chapter. So go check it out first before baking or otherwise you'll be a, lo a bit lost. For example, here I'm making seams with Control E, selecting the top of the hoofs and then making seam. This is in the low resolution uh, mesh because we want to dis uh, unwrap the UV of, the, of this part of the legs. So mark seam there, mark at the bottom and then on the side because this is a pretty much cylindrical shape. So before unwrapping, I want to apply I scale a little bit up so it doesn't overlap with the high resolution mesh so there is a little gap in between them now you unwrap move around the UVs a little bit so this is why I'm doing it fast because I already explained it in the other tutorial but if you already know you can you could follow otherwise go check it out it's not that long video So select everything, make one face active, don't forget that because otherwise Blender will not apply the texture to that face, to the selected faces. So make one texture, apply, it's black by default, it's okay. Now let's go to the render properties panel and the last one at the bottom is the bake panel. As a bake mode, we're going to switch from full render to normals and then normal space, we leave it in tangent and we're going to click select it, select it to active. So it means that um, first we're going to select the high resolution mesh, then shift click the low resolution mesh. That will make active the last mesh we selected, which is the low resolution one. And it means we're going to bake the geometry from the high resolution, the selected one, to the active, the low resolution one. So we hit bake and that should make it. Wait a little bit. This is real time. There, done. Pretty fast. So what we see here is a normal map. It's created using the normals, the direction of the, the faces for from the low res from the high resolution mesh into the low resolution mesh UV. So let's apply it as a texture. Go to the material, texture. It already has one. Switch it to image. Then choose from the list, because we already have it, normal map. I already had a few, but I can just remove that. Then map it to UV, of course. In the mapping, you, you switch it to UV, otherwise it wouldn't map properly. And let's see how it looks already. GLSL is active, so now let's switch to the texture view with Alt Z or Alt Z. And of course it's applied to the color, but let's add some light first. Add lamp. There, bring it down. G and then Z, so it goes down. Okay, so as we can see it's applied as a color. That's the default influence that it has. Let's enable normal, so it applies actually to the normals. And it, it looks like bump, but it's not a normal map. Why? Because we didn't specify that this texture should be, inter uh, should be used as a normal map. So go to image sampling panel and then enable normal map and see the difference. It's huge. So that's a bump, that's normal map. Well, a bump with that, with not proper bump map specified. So as you can see, it reacts to the light very nicely. It looks like we have a lot of geometry, but we don't actually steal the low resolution mesh. So at this point, you can just remove the high resolution mesh. We are not going to use it anymore unless you want to bake them using another UV. That's all for baking, baking only normal maps. And as you can see, it's nice, low res, and uh, it even looks in the looks good in the 3D view. So you can use it in the game engine if you like. So that's it for sculpting. Hope you like it.